Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you from the northeast of Scotland. Um, today we are going on to our tenth espresso review, so a little mini milestone for myself. Um, I thought that we would review another coffee from Cockwell Coffee Roasters this morning. This is the second last bag of beans that I have from them, so I'll be doing one more review from them uh, shortly. So this is their Costa Rican one. Christian Alvarez and as you can see it says the notes of cherry plum and cocoa and here's some more information on the back as well if you wish to read I'll just read a uh, part of the description the processing bit so this lot was processed at the Palmyco wet mill community owned wet mill Christian's Catchel cherries were honey processed with the mucilage left on following pulping. The coffee was dried on raised beds before the drying process was finished in mechanical dryers for a total time of 7 to 10 days. So there you go. Apologies if I butchered any of the, uh, the pronunciation of the words there. Anyway, so... What we'll do is we'll go to the niche. Um, I'll weigh out the 18 grams of coffee first and then we'll go to the niche and look at the settings and the beans. Well guys, here we have the actual beans. As you can see, these beans I would suggest would be medium to medium to light, probably more medium than anything else. The dial on the niche is at 14 for this one. I found that uh, 14 works fairly well for these beans. Anyway, so let's get on to the grinding, shall we? Welcome back everybody, so that's us ready now to do a shot. So the boiler is at 92 degrees, 93 degrees approximately. Um, so let's see what the shot gives us, shall we? Okay, so that came out a little bit fast, so it's about um, 37 grams, and that was about 23 seconds. Um, so um, a little bit, a little bit short, uh, could be a little bit under extracted, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's have a look. Well, it looks very nice. Not as much crema as there was initially when I first got it. Obviously, these beans are getting a little bit older. So let's have a let's have a nose and see what we get. Yeah, so tasting notes are pretty much spot on with a cherry. I get lots and lots of cherries straight up. It just smells warm and inviting. Uh, this particular coffee is actually part of their espresso range. Right, let's go on to the taste then. Right, so it's very very good um, you're definitely getting that that cherry coming coming out strong right initially um, it's not your sweet cherry I would say this is more acidic um, it's more fruity and darker I'm getting dark chocolate coming through very nicely as well not sure about plum I'm just gonna have another taste
Mm. That's more of that chocolate coming through as well. The cup is quite drying. I think that cherry is really coming through quite strong. Very, very clean cup. I found this to be very good with Americanas as well. Mm. That really is excellent. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think that this is a very, very good one to pick up. Um, if you like your espressos strong and with lots of chocolate and there's also a balance of citrus coming through with the cherries, then I would suggest this is a, a good buy. Um, to score this, I would probably give this an 8.5 out of 10. I'm quite a big fan of this particular coffee from uh, from Cartwheel. I would say um, the Honduran is still my favourite one, but this one is right up there, I would say. Um, I think it's just over £11, £11.50 for 250 grams. So pretty much in line with what you'd pay from a lot of places. Um, I think it's good value. Um, it's it's been a it's been one of my favorite ones as I say from their from their range. Um, yeah, so it, I've got a few more things just to say quickly. Um, I will be doing some uh, further reviews in the future. In the near future, I have got three different coffees coming quite soon. Um, two from Kelowna and one from the barn in Germany or Berlin. Um, the two from Kelowna, one of them is part of the rare subscription series and uh, the second one is a is a Gesha. So I'm looking forward to trying those ones. Um, I'm not 100% sure which one is coming from the barn, but it's part of their masterpiece collection. So again, there's a few, few rare coffees coming soon. So please uh, check those videos out when you, when you have time um, when I do upload them. Okay, guys, so that was Cartwheel Coffee, uh, Christian Alvarez, Costa Rica. Um, not much more to say, except I think it's, it's just a, a really, really good espresso. If you like the mix of dark chocolate and cherry. Um, not sweet, though, but more on the citrusy side of things. Then I would suggest you pick it up. It is still available. Um, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you all again next time. Have a fantastic Sunday. Take care.